Hi there, in this video I'll show you how you can create a leaderboard for your game in GDevelop 5. For this tutorial we'll be making use of Firebase which would store the score and the names of the players. So the first thing you need to do is open up your browser. For this tutorial I'll be using Chrome. Head to console.firebase.google.com You'd have to create an account before you can come into the console. So as soon as you have created your account, you should see a screen like this, which is the console. Don't worry about this, this is just projects I have in Firebase. So you need to add a project. And let's give our project a name. I'll call this Platformer Firebase. There you go, and continue. Scroll to the bottom continue select an account this is basically your google account so you can select the default account for firebase and create this should take some time and there we go our project has been created so hit continue and this should open up the project into this. The next thing you need to do is hit on this which is web and we need to register our app as a web app. So let's set a name for app. I'll name this platformer Firebase and also set up Firebase hosting. We won't be hosting anything so we don't need that checked so just hit register app now this should generate an SDK for us which would paste in gdevelop. Okay so we have our SDK generated right here and what you need to copy is from this curly um, bracket right here all the way to this, the last curly bracket. So copy that and let's go back to gdevelop to the project we'll be using for this. So in gdevelop open up project manager properties, scroll to the bottom and paste that here. Now the next thing you need to do is place this API key, alt domain, project ID, storage bucket all the way down. You need to place all this in double code. So let's do that. Okay, yeah, don't put a colon in um, double quotes. The colon should be outside the code. Okay, and code. Code. Code coat and there we go okay so we now have this placed and let's apply so if you enjoyed the tutorial please like subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss future uploads like this now the next thing we need to do is enable cloud fire stuff for our firebase app so let's go back to continue to console now in the side menu you need to click on firestore database and then create database. In here we have two options, start in production mode and start in test mode. The difference between production mode is that access to it is defined by a set of rules which look like this. These rules are used to protect the database. For this we'd start in test mode and next. So this is our cloud firestore location. For this I would use the US central and enable. We've successfully created our cloud firestore. Now you need to start a collection. So start collection and we'll name our collection leaderboard. So the leaderboard will store all the names and scores of players. So leaderboard and next. And let's select auto ID and take this out and save. And there we go, we have our leaderboard. So whenever a player submits his score, it would display here and the field would display both the name and the score. 
So with this, let's go back to Gdevelop. Now back in Gdevelop, I currently have two scenes and would go through the two of the scenes. So let's start with the first, which is new scene. So new scene, we have a mini game right here. The player is a platformer character and this is a platform for the player to move on. We also have this, which is the target. So once the player is in collision with this, he adds to the score. This is the mini platformer and this text would be for the player's name the player's name and this is the object which gets your keyboard input and this would be for the submit there's a submit button so once you hit the submit it should take you to the leaderboard scene right here and it should display your score and the score of others so back into our new scene let's go into events and let's write some events so new scene events in our first event we need to ensure our text object which is this object right here we need to make sure it displays whatever key is pressed on the keyboard so to do that add a new event add an action and you need to select text and modify the text sign set to value um the value of txt string txt entry and string so this should display whatever is typed in the keyboard in the text object now next ones the player is in collision with the targets we need to add one to the variable which would store the score so add a new event add a condition and player is in collision with um targets okay so trigger once we only want this occurring once so trigger once and add an action to change the scene variable so value of the scene variable variable name let's go user dot score okay so sign um add one there we go and now we need to ensure the value which is saved in our variable user score is displayed by this text right here so we need to modify this text to display the variable so back into our new scene events add an event add an action select score modify the text sign set to value it's a variable so variable string user dot score okay close it and there you go okay so we have a variable which stores the score we also need a variable which is store the player's name so let's add a new event and add an action so for this this would be a string so scene variable string of a scene variable variable name would be user dot name and sign would be set so we'd set this to our text entry string which is the object we created so text entry string and okay so let's preview this so here we have our player moving in the scene and once we're in collision with this it adds one to this right here adds one and if i type on my keyboard as i can set a name for the player so let's go back to jitterval and next once the submit button which is this button right here is pressed we need to add these values which we have for our user score and our username we need to add it to the database we created so let's add a new event and add a condition so submit and um let's go with touch so once the cursor touch is on this object okay and add an action once um mouse button released the left mouse button is released in our action let's add to the fire store so other actions and scroll down to firebase in the firebase drop down you need to select um cloud fire store scroll down and select open up documents and in here we need to add a document to the fire store so select this and so the collection here refers to this collection which we created here which is a leaderboard so let's go back and let's fill leaderboard okay so variable to write would be user and the callback variable will leave this blank and and just a side note this has two states which is okay and error okay so we're done with this scene so let's go to our back here we need to add an action to change to this scene once the submit button is pressed so add an action and scene 
um, here we go. Change to change the scene to leaderboard. There we go. Okay, so in our leaderboard scene. So in this scene, we need to make use of Firebase queries. We need a query to initialize. We need one to filter and to filter the documents and it we need one to execute the document. So let's start by adding in a new event and add an action. Um, all the actions, scroll to Firebase and select Cloud Firestore and queries right here and initialize. So start by starting a query. You can name the query whatever you want. So for this, I would go with my score and select our collection, which is this collection leaderboard, which we created. So type leaderboard in there. And OK. Next, we need to fill the query by arranging it in a particular order. So add an action or the actions. Scroll down to Firebase and um, cloud firestore then queries and filter so order by field value select this and the query name which is the name we created earlier which is my and the field we want to order back into our um, firebase so here we have a field which is in this document you can create a field now what jdevelop would do is create this field for us the field will contain name and the name of the player and the score of the player so for this we need to get the score of the player so our field to order by would be score and the direction we have two directions ascending order and the descending order we we'll select descending and okay now let's execute so add an action and other actions select firebase cloud firestore um, queries and execute so execute we need to select watch a query this would automatically um, execute so query name we need to get the name we created again my score and the callback variable where to load the results so this is the variable where we would store the data and we can name this fetched um, data and the callback variable with state this has to do with the status of the query so we name this status and okay in this next event we need to handle the arrangements of the leaderboard so add a new event and I'll just paste this and explain it okay so we have this which is the text of the scene variable status which is this variable we created here so once it's equals to zero um, okay remember we have um, two states here we have okay um, states and we have error states so once um, it's not once there's no error and it's okay we needed to change the scene variable of status back to an empty string and then modify the um, text of this which is this text we created right here so modify this text and set it to leaderboard this will display leaderboard at the top and then create a new line and a new line below it so this should give um, a gap between the leaderboard header and the text so for this sub events we have a for every child variable which you can add by clicking on this plus and clicking on this for each child variable right here and so for this we have for each child variable in fetch data docs store the child in variable doc with the child name i and do now this i is used for numbering in the leaderboard so right here it says change the text of txt and add to the string i plus one so this would add one and number the leaderboard then it adds the variable doc data name which is the name of the player who submitted it would add the player and then give three dashes right here you can change the dashes to wherever you want so he has this three dash and then he adds variable string doc data score so you add the score to the string and add a new line so let's open this so you can see the full value so this is it i'll leave a link in the description if you want to download it so okay and and that's it we are done so let's go back to new scene and preview this so here's our little um, project our little platformer and once we're in collision let's try to get then for this so i'll just keep jumping so i can get like okay i think nine would do and let's add a name i'll add in my name Gabriel and submit this is submit to database and as you can see i have this properly numbered one gabriel and this is my score so if i close this and back into gdevelop let's preview this again minimize and 
there's been collision let's get about um three here or maybe four four do and um i'll just type in gem okay and submit so we have that gem which is placed at number two we have gabriel placed at number one now let's go back to our fire store database and so you can see all those values so back there and now as you can see we have these two new documents added the first document has my name gabriel and my score right here saved and the second has the name gem and the score for here saved so you can modify this right directly from the database here so i can change the name from um where is the value sorry about that okay so i can change the name from gem to um what should i save it as okay gem dev and updates and as you can see change and there you go that's how to create a leaderboard in gdevelop 5 you can also set a limit to the total number of documents displayed at a time you can do that using a firebase action and so that's it thanks for watching um i'll see you guys in my next tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and share